extending the group by clause with the rollout clause, the cube clause, and the grouping sets clause. The rollout clause creates subtotals and grand totals. The cube clause allows the creation of three dimensional cross tab reports. The grouping sets clause allows filtering on the results of rollup and cube clauses. Here's the syntax for the rollup clause. As you can see, rollup has an expression list applied to it and produces subtotals and a grand total. Looking something much like this, where we have a join on the venue and act tables and the ticket table with the total values of tickets. In this case, we produce subtotals for each venue, as you can see here, indicated by the arrows for Arco Arena, Compact Center, and the Orpheum. A grand total is produced at the end. Let's go and run through an example with the roll-up clause. First of all, we're going to join the venue show and ticket tables, where my venue name is in the venues I know I have, and I'm going to count all those rows. The result I get is 276,750 rows in that join, with this restriction applied. One interesting point to note, even though this restriction actually retrieves all the rows in the ticket table, I have applied the filtering before I apply the join. What that's doing is actually restricting the number of venue records I'm retrieving. The result of that is that I will only attempt to join the venue to the show table with three venue records rather than the total number of venue records. That's an example of simple SQL tuning applying the filtering for the joining. So instead of joining however many venue records I have, I've only joined three venue rows to the rows in the show table. That's a little more efficient. Let's set some column names. Now let's go and group the same join and sum the price in the ticket table. What I've done is I've got all the sums of the ticket prices for each venue. This is the same as this query here, except that I don't have the subtotals and the grand total. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the rollup clause to the group by function on the same query. And I'm going to get subtotals for each of the venues plus a grand total for the whole query. So let's run this query. Now what I've done is since I've only got three groups and no sub-values within the venues, I obviously don't get any subtotals. However, I do get a grand total. I've also formatted the numeric values, which are dollar amounts, into readable dollar amounts. As you can see, this number is 19,368,360. If we go back to my picture here, we'll see that this is the same value as the grand total. In order to get both subtotals and totals, I need to report act within venue and group by roll up on both venue and act. Obviously, since there are many acts at one venue, it makes logical sense to group by in the sequence of act within venue. So let's copy and paste this query and execute that as well. Here is the result of grouping by applying rollup with both the venue and the act columns. Now I have a subtotal for the venues and a grand total for all venues.